Hey everybody, Derek Christensen here. I'm an estate planning attorney and I wanted to talk to you today about a new series that I'm gonna be doing here soon called Horror Stories of Estate Planning. <laughs> um, I, for some reason, think that people are interested in uh, horror stories and to be honest, I've got quite a few of them as my done my work as an estate planning attorney. So I'm obviously gonna change up names, gonna make sure that everything's okay, not gonna give away any identities or break any confidentiality, but these are situations that have happened with my clients and I wanna make sure that you learn from them and we all learn from them so we don't repeat the same mistakes. That being said, before we dive in, let me tell you how to reach out to me. You can email me directly, Derek, D-E-R-E-K, at legionlawpllc.com or you can find me on my website, www.legionlawpllc.com. So with that, let's dive right in. This horror story is actually my very first estate planning client I've ever had. And in this circumstance, it was a very wealthy man who decided to make his own business. And for several decades, he grew the business and it turned into a multi, multi-million dollar business and he was quite wealthy because of it. And it was fantastic. But as I find with some business owners, uh, he kind of translated his business prowess and working hard and saving money and scrimping. Uh, he saved that mentality for his estate plan as well. And if you know anything about estate planning and horror stories, you're gonna find out real quick that trying to save money is almost always the bane of <laughs> a good estate plan's existence. And the problem was that he went on the internet, my client, he went on the internet and he downloaded a financial power of attorney off the internet. He was a business owner, he wanted to make sure that if he got into a coma, somebody could run the business for him, whatever. And he decided to download you know, the first form he found, it filled out the blanks, made sure everything was good to go, got it signed and notarized, and you know, all is well. He had a financial power of attorney, and he saved a couple hundred bucks. Turns out though, he downloaded the wrong one for what he was trying to accomplish. He wanted to give a financial power of attorney to his brother in case he got into a coma. Unfortunately, he didn't realize two things. One, he downloaded a durable power of attorney, not a springing power of attorney. In other words, he downloaded a power of attorney that was effective immediately, not whenever he gets into a coma. So that power that he gave to his brother was immediate. And it, it was unencumbered. It was absolute everything. The brother could do everything as if he were my client. And the problem is that the second thing popped up too. He didn't realize, my client didn't realize that his brother hated him was very jealous, wanted to have that business for himself, thought he could run it better, whatever, and if his brother couldn't have that business, or if he couldn't have that business, his brother couldn't have the business. And as soon as he got this power of attorney, he just went for the races. He started selling contracts, he started making promises that the company couldn't keep. He was acting all in the name of the client because he had the power of attorney. So anytime he went to a contract negotiation, he would show the power of attorney and say, hey, my brother said I can do this. Um, and people accepted it. So unfortunately, the brother didn't realize, or the client didn't realize that the brother was doing this until weeks of damage have already happened and the company decreased in value by about 50%. The man lost millions of dollars because he's just trying to save some money on a financial power of attorney. <laughs> so moral of the story is that you really should not skimp and save when it comes to estate planning. You should not, because uh, again, it affects every aspect of your life. It affects your retirement accounts, houses, cars, bank accounts, whatever. All of it is part of your estate plan. And if you're trying to go off the internet and you think you're smarter than attorneys and you can see all the red flags on your end, but in reality, there are some that you won't see, uh, it's, it's not good and it did not turn out well for this client. Now, we try to recover some money, we try to fix the business a little bit, but at the end of the day, the damage was done. And uh, this client learned a very, very expensive lesson that uh, you should absolutely work with a power of, or you should work with an attorney if you're trying to set up a power of attorney. You want to make sure that it's done correctly, the pe right people are in charge, you don't give away too many powers, what you're trying to accomplish actually happens rather than fill in the blanks off the internet. So with that, if you have any questions about that or anything else, feel free to ask. I'd love to be able to answer questions, respond to emails, whatever I can do to help. Um, send me an email, Derek, D-E-R-E-K, at legionlawpllc.com, or you can find me on my website where you can schedule a consultation for free directly on my calendar at our, on our Contact Us page. So feel free to reach out in either way, and I'd be more than happy to help out. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.